Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from Indian Mathematical Olympiad 1994 problem number 2. We wish to prove that x to the power of 6 is greater than or equal 2 times x to the power of 5 minus x cubed plus x close parenthesis minus 1 for every real number x. Uh, my formulation of this problem is slightly rephrased, but the sense of the original, I believe, is the same. This problem is really easy. Hint, just put everything on one side and factorize the polynomial you get. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so let's put everything on one side, as I suggested. x to the power of 6 minus 2x to the power of 5 plus 2x cubed minus 2x plus 1. Let's consider this function, this polynomial of degree 6. So let's call it p of x. Well, notice notice, notice the following we should guess a rational root and it so happens to be that 1 is a root of our polynomial. So we can divide by x minus 1, but I'd like to, to establish the multiplicity of my root and to do it, I will consider the derivative of my polynomial. It's the following. And notice again, notice again that p prime of one is also zero. So I know, so I know that my root one is a root of my polynomial of degree at least um, of multiplicity at least uh, two. So I will also. Mm. investigate the second derivative 30x to the fourth power minus 40 minus 40x cubed plus 12x and now let's notice that finally p double prime of 1 is not 0 so now we conclude that p of x is divisible by x minus 1 squared, but not by x minus 1 cubed. And now we should do the division, whichever way you like, I will give just the result p of x is x minus 1 squared and the quotient after upon division will be x to the power of 4 minus x squared plus 1 and now I'd like to write the second parenthesis in slightly different form x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 1 plus x squared and notice finally that x minus 1 squared, x squared plus 1, minus 1 rather, squared plus x squared. And now let's notice that my first factor is obviously non-negative because it's a square. Well, and this parenthesis is always positive. Why is that? We Because we have sum of two different squares, uh, sum of two different squares, which means exactly that for every real number x, p of x is non-negative, which was just our goal. We have now concluded our problem. Before you go, let's notice that the only possibility for our polynomial to be equal to zero is for x equals one. For every other real x, our inequality is in fact strict. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.
Goodbye.